Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've made a video. As you can see here, I have the uh, Notifier 3030 mounted on the wall with a few devices. Um, this is kind of what I've been working on for the past couple months. I also have another demo board uh, down there, which you'll be seeing more of. I also have a 640, which I'm trying to get working. And there are some more devices down there. Um, there are the batteries for the 3030. Um, as you can see, I have all address panels finally. This thing is a Notifier NFS 23030 with two ACM 24Ts, which both of which are dead. I got them for $50, which was the exact same price as putting blinker plates there. So those don't do anything, but eventually I'm going to get working ones. Uh, there's a Notifier DVC with a DVC KD right there, a Notifier C Mic 1 right there is blank. There's nothing inside of that bay. That's just for future expansions. And right there is my amplifier, a DAA uh, 2550, I believe, 50 watts at 25 volts. Um, and it has this pair of batteries. It's the front pair right there. And down there at the very bottom, that is a battery bay. Um, it has two power supplies, a Notifier AMPS 24, which is the main power supply for the CPU and the DVC, and a ACPS, uh, which is the NAC power supply. That normally gets mounted in a separate enclosure, but I had extra room down there, so it's right there. Um, that powers the NAC circuits, which I will show you in a second. And that, um, and both those power supplies share the other set of batteries. So yeah, that's the panel. Um, for devices, we have two Notifier NBG12 LXs and a, notif and a Firelight monitor module, which is running on Flashcan just fine. And that monitor module is actually monitoring a system sensor conventional beam detector. Now I don't have a reflector for that yet. Um, I have to buy one of those on eBay, so that's not going to be tested in this system test. Um, but that is what that monitor module is for. Now for the AVs, we have a System Sensor L-Series speaker strobe on speaker circuit 1 and NAC 1. And we have a System Sensor Spectral Classic. Uh, this is actually an FCI branded one, I think. Or that's just a mounting bracket, I'm not sure. But Classic right there. Um, that's running on the same NAC, and I have Selective Silence and Strobe Sync um, all, over, all over the ACPS. Um, so yeah. All right, and before we start the test, I am joined by. Yes, uh, he did not request it, but he just happened to be here while I'm recording. And let's go ahead and pull the first NBG12 LX in three, two, one. Alright, we can go ahead and acknowledge the panel. Please proceed to the stairways and exit the building. Do not use the elevators, but proceed and to the now we can and exit silence it. So yeah, um, as you can see we have selective silence and everything's all synced up. So we can go ahead and reset that. And we can go ahead and pull the other one. Three, two, one. So before we end the video, we're going to go ahead and do an all clear message. Attention. Your attention, please. The building emergency condition has been cleared. You may return to your normal activities. The building emergency has been cleared. You may return to your normal activities. And it's just going to repeat attention. that. So we're going to go and turn that off. Now you'd probably now normally you'd probably reset the system first before you do the message, just so the strobes aren't flashing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you join my Discord server with the link in the description. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.